as the humble object pattern. Remove all the behavior from the object, make it just like, it, it's very close to getters and setters, right? Mm. <laughs> it's so simple that like, why would I test getters and setters? Just like in Swift UI, if you design your UI, there is just actually getting the data from the model and putting in specific places. And there's yeah. not a lot of behavior going on when you tap buttons, you just call a function. You can say that, oh, it's the humble object here. He doesn't have behavior, anything crazy. There's still a risk that you will yeah. not call the right method at the right time and not actually testing what's going on there. But when you're dealing with something that is very hard to test and the cost is too high, you move all the logic outside the component, right? You move all the logic outside the component, hide the component from your logic. And this may be the tiny adapter that you create here. You have an adapter here. Mm. The real framework is tested by whoever created the framework. You test your code. And then there's a tiny, tiny, as small as possible here, adapter, which is a humble object here. It's so simple, so simple that the, the risk is so low that the cost of trying to test it would not make it worth it. <laughs> yeah. But don't resort to the humble objects. Just always, <laughs> right? It's too, too late Always, <laughs> always wait the cost benefit because otherwise it can, we can become lazy, you know? Yeah. And just say, I'm not going to test it because, oh, my code is so simple. And then the bugs start coming back in. Yeah. And then you start losing the benefit of having tests. Hmm. So this is for... Extreme cases when you're dealing with frameworks that are very hard to test, they're very, very weird APIs, everything is optional, everything, you know, you cannot simulate errors, like, then yeah. you, you make an informed decision by weighting options, <laughs> cost benefit, yeah. and you move all the logic that you can test outside the infrastructure. And you may have to create a tiny adapter here, as you did, with only four lines of code. And then you say, I'm making an informed decision that I will not test these four lines of code because the cost to doing so and the maintenance burden and the benefits I will get is not enough to justify yeah. 